Yes, so for welcome back. Welcome back to the continuation of this live broadcast. Our supporters of uh, Madam Giuliani to the girls of Capitol Buildings to protest for justice. The ongoing case between Liberia's cultural ambassador, Madam Giuliani, and uh, one of Liberia's abusive talk show who protect people. So welcome back to the continuation of this live broadcast. We are seeing the ambassador herself and moved with our uh, interrush. We are here on the grounds of the capital to petition the Speaker of the House of Representatives to address and prop into the matter regarding she and Prophet Key. And so for tribe, thank you so much for joining us, sharing back on us today to the live broadcast as we bring you happenings from the grounds of the capital building. This is for the broadcast and my name is Archie Bourne. Folks, you are listening to the, the songs. Enough is enough. They are tired with the too much of insults against women and girls. The Liberian women grouping us out for justice. The women are about to petition the House of Representatives. Oh, my God. 
This is my aunt. Uh, so folks, I uh, keep following the supporters of um, Madam Julie Andes. I hear at the Capitol building protesting for justice, asking the Justice Ministry, the Supreme Court of Liberia, to be fair enough to rule very unique justice. Justice for one and justice for all. Take the petition to the speaker. Okay. And once we read it and you take it to the speaker, then we go across the room. We tell the EPF want to give a petition. We give it again. Yeah. Right. So, so this is um, um, Julianix. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know. 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 I don't I don't know. I do I'm <laughs> 
Representative of most of our candidates, district number 14, who follow in the We also have the form that he's the chair of the petition and grievance here at the House of Representatives. So this is our so we are in conversation with uh, Honorable Kekula Muka Kama, representative of Tesh Kedema 14, Mosul Rakata. Where you have elected your leaders, and your leaders should then listen to your car. And I believe it's something that has brought you on this ground this morning. Mm -hmm. So we will just give the chance for our mothers to listen to them about the concerns that you have that have brought you here this morning so we can speak to that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am Julie Andy the victim. But there's a petition that is also going to be submitted by the women. Okay. But I want to speak on behalf of myself. Okay. Because I'm the victim. In December, I was abused. I was I was coerced in a criminal manner with a disorderly conduct of a Liberian citizen named Nia Bwaka Opa Zienye. He goes by the name in, in, in Morocco, Justin Ma. So he has two names, AKA Prophet Key. Mm -hmm. I've never met him before. I don't know him. I only met him in court. I've never seen him before. I never cross court him before. After insulting my womanhood and lied on me, he also portrayed on his podcast that I'm an enemy to the state. 
And for the last 30 years, I've sacrificed my life for Liberia. So after I look at it, I would have taken the law in my hand. I said, no, I believe in democracy, the rule of law, and the justice system. So I went to the judiciary, and I filed a complaint. I filed two lawsuits against him. One of the lawsuits was a civil matter for $5 million. Then I filed another one for criminal coercion, menacing, and disorderly conduct. So those were the two. He was arrested and brought in court. They put him on the prisoner bench and asked him for bond. I went into court. They asked us that if someone big in government had called for us to take the case out of court. I said, I can't do it. If the judge and the big man in government can listen to the, 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 the video and see that, that I should take the case out, I will. And if they want justice, if they say that's justice, I accept. And then they look at it, the judge said, no, we should go through the case. We went through the case. We did not go through the case. We went, he didn't have a bond. So they told him one o'clock on Tuesday, he should bring a bond or he will go to jail. Mm -hmm. I left the court as a law abiding citizen to return to court on about 9 a.m. in the morning of Friday. That was it. On social media, I see all the case has been dropped. Then the night before, he did a podcast. In a podcast, he said, this is his government, he supported the government, the government asked him to come in, he has come in, he's in country, and I took him to court, and the government does not want to answer to the court case, he's paying a lot of money, so they should send him money, or he will dump the government over the bridge. I have that exhibit 14 with me. I brought all to court, so you, to you, so the honorable legislature can see that. Now the next thing that he did was, he went and did the podcast the very next day, Councillor Bushy Ben Keita, legal advisor to the President of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency Joseph Yuma Buaka, instructed the court through the prosecutor to drop the case without my knowledge. He is not the OIC of the Ministry of Justice. These are different branches of government. He needs to stay in his lane. My petition yet today is that the legal advisor is in error of the Constitution. And so my right must be restored. The reason I was coming, Chief Zanza called me and said, I should not carry the number of persons I'm bringing. That's why you see us like this. Based on traditional advice, that's why I'm standing. Because the mask, all the masks, the women masks are sitting somewhere. Chief Zanza said we should leave it until we come to the legislature and the executive. If, if, the law does not serve me right. I got two options. One to go to the Equus court, and the next thing to do, I will naked myself, and I will go to the executive mansion and stay there for even our three months. I will be there. Justice must be served. We have the petition, can you read the petition out and then we make a statement that we get from it. So folks are we yeah, about to read the petition. Uh -huh. And the reason why I'm reading this petition because I feel the pain. Mm -hmm. And I want to read it in a way where it's distinct. 
I won't cross one word. For 30 years of my life, I've never been, like, I've never experienced such a thing. According to the women of Liberia that rally support for me, Ambassador Julie Endy, Queen Julie Endy from the traditional people, to the honorable speaker of the National Legislature, we, the women of Liberia and Julie Endy, stay united in our unwearing commitment to justice, equality, and the rule of law. Today, we come before the extinct National Legislature, headed by the speaker, with heavy hearts and determined spirits, petitioning for the urgent intervention in a matter that strikes at the very core of our nation principles. In solidarity of myself, Julie Endy, and the quest for justice, we raise our voices, our voices, we raise our voices to highlight a grave injustice that have fallen Julie Endy. Ni Yakwa, Opa Zenye, Justin Ma, popularly known as Prophet Key, a talk show host, stand accused of defamation and threatening behavior, was sentenced, was sent to court by Ambassador Julie Endy. Despite the existence of compelling evidence which is attached to this document, compelling evidence supporting Ambassador Endy's claim, we have witnessed with dismay the dismissal of the case by an appointee who is a legal advisor to the President Joseph Yuma Buakai to the court. The instruction was given by the appointee. What is even more distressing in this apparent interference in the judiciary process by the legal advisor to the president is that Mr. Bushiben Keita, who called for and gave the instruction of dismissal of the case on ground of lack of evidence. Such interference not only undermines the independence of our judiciary, but also erodes the trust of our citizens and the fairness of our legal system. As a woman, Supported by these women of Liberia, we firmly believe that justice delayed is justice denied. We refuse to re accept a reality where the powerful can invade accountability and trample over the rights of our fellow citizens with impunity. And uh, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And we cannot remain silent in the face of such injustice. Yes. Therefore, we employ the national legislature to hear our call on justice. We call upon you, extreme members of the national legislature, to conduct a door rough and impartial investigation into the dismissal of the case against Prophet Key with two different names. Mm -hmm. We demand transparency, accountability, and the upholding of the rule of law. Our collective voice echoes the sentiments of countless Liberians who yearn for a society where justice is not a privilege but a fundamental right. We stand united in our quest for a Liberia where every citizen is treated with dignity, respect, and fairness under the law. We humbly urge the National Legislature to take decisive action to rectify the, this injustice.